Hello guys, what is going on? It is Lord Bezza and welcome back to the I Building Iconic Planes in KSP series. Today we're going to be doing the uh, MiG-35, uh, which actually isn't currently a lot of people would know about, probably unless you lived in Russia or India, uh, because it is a joint uh, development thingy between Russia and India. Um, as a four plus plus generation jet, not quite fifth and not quite fourth, but in between. Why is it getting such horrible frames a second just there? That's better, and it's better now, of course. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's called the uh, Mig 35. Uh, NATO's reporting name is the Fulcrum F. I don't know why NATO even bothers naming these things. Why don't they just call them, I don't know, Russia 1? <laughs> uh, but that's their choice, of course. Um, I think NATO's a bit a bit up their ass sometimes, but I really don't care. <laughs> um, so, yeah, what we're going to do is build this. Um, it is full-scale production was expected in 2010. Um, I did a bit of research, and I can't actually find... Uh, a lot on it, except for this fact file I brought up. Um, but it has a maximum speed at high altitude of 2,560 kilometers per hour. So that's pretty fucking fast. I would not want to be involved in fighting this thing anytime soon. Uh, as you can probably guess, why it would probably destroy your asshole in about. 0.5 seconds or some ridiculous thing like that. Um, no. There's something I want to look for. But that's definitely not it because that thing is huge. It's definitely not that. Hmm. Ah, uh, but it doesn't matter anyway. Ah, uh, for the design I'm choosing. Um, it does not actually matter because what I'm looking for should be right here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Uh-huh. And, um, where is it? We need power. So, yeah, this jet is developed by the um, OKB Mikoyan Design Bureau. That's always some, some Russian thing, clearly. Um, I'm before the Russians are at my house. Oh, no, I just closed something that I shouldn't have, because I needed that as a reference. So, let me just open that back up, because that was my reference, and I hate losing my reference to what I am building, of course. Uh, it's this, yes, this is right here. That's fine. And, uh, so, yeah, it's got thrust vectoring system, multi-level use of weapons, and actively electronically scanned array radar, which obviously means it kicks ass, in most cases, I guess. Um, so... This is going to go about here, and it's going to be extended like so, pull about there. That's going to get a bit bigger. Uh, probably just want to make that a little bit. Uh, actually, no, it's probably about right. Hmm. Actually, that probably wants to come down a bit more. Like that, and like that, I would say. And then it probably just wants to come out just a little. Nope, not that way. G. And there we go. That would be the uh, wing design part. And then I'm off to actually go to do the. Wings. Oh shit, whoops. Bloody hell, that was not expected. The wings sort of come out a bit like that, and they're a little bit a little bit tipped at the end. There will always be an image provided as usual. Uh, probably bring those back a little bit more.
that would be that. So that's that. Um, not exactly what I want, but uh, good enough. <laughs> um, so that's that. And uh, now is some st control, structural control panels at the back. Uh, so that's like that. Um, obviously, going to need more, a bit more weight at the back to counteract the effects of that being there. Um, which will be done by. Um, I need to take this off, and actually, yeah. Um, Ooh, and give me one of these things for some extra gyroscoping help. So, that's the basic of the plane uh, that we have so far. And for the, my next trick, we will be using these. Uh, mounted just under the side of the aircraft. Maybe not. Um, Alt F12, allow part clipping please. Yeah, it's not exactly looking how I want it to look. Neither is that, to be honest. Um, um, this is why I pre-build things, to see what they look like before I actually build them. They're actually underneath the wings. Like so. And then there is the... Uh, this. And then the engines, which we'll be using the turbojets for that. Like so. And then we're also going to need the, um, going to be using our, these, even though they're a bit small. Um, probably should use the big ones, probably be a bit more, um, Ideal, I guess you could say, but it shouldn't matter, I guess. From is they're sort of back more. Let me bring them. Oh shit! Oops, don't want that, do I now? Um, if I can get them into a good position. Which I can edit there. They're more like that, so actually. What I will do is do this. Like so. Oops. I'm to bring them up, don't I? And then they want to be like that, followed by control surface on the back, of course, uh, which will be, if I remember, they're in here, aren't they? I'll use the the big ones, which sort of don't fit it very nicely, but off this I can then add the yeah that's not gonna work. Yeah, you know, I might just use the winglet actually. The winglet looked surprisingly good. Mm, 
No, 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 I'm not liking that. Um, I mean, the winglet doesn't look too bad, but it just looks sort of stupid. But, you know what? It'll do. No, it won't. We'll just get back to using the original small ones. Like, so. We'll get back to using those, even though they're a little bit small. If I can work out the right fucking... Oh. What the hell's going on here now? Alright, we're showing you. There we go. Nope, there, that's still the. What the frickin' butthole's going on here? Alright, there's that, finally. And then we have the small winglets to the back. Sure, I'm gonna add these. Oops, nope. Nope, you're not definitely going up in there. I'm definitely not going there. <sighs> Why can't things just fit? No, that, that probably suits it. So, um, this will be the F35KSP edition. While I add on some heavy duty wheels. Because it is a heavy duty plane. So it sort of makes sense to have heavy duty stuff. Which I believe I'll put right there. And, ladies and gentlemen, the Meek 35. I'm pretty sure I just said F35 before. But, ladies and gentlemen, the Russian slash Indian MiG-35 uh, KSP edition is uh, now ready for flight, apparently. Um, let's hope so. Now, there is one thing I want to check, and this will be the awesome launch of the awesome launch. Um, so you guys should like this. I like to call it my epic takeoff, which is my doing this. Doing this for about a couple of seconds getting up to about 100 thrust on each engine, keep going, aim upwards, keep gaining thrust, keep going, keep going, keep going, probably about 125, so we're getting 125 out of each engine, then we shall take off, keep going, come on, I want 125 thrust. Give it to me. There we go. Perfect. And that is what I call a pretty much vertical takeoff. <laughs> uh, I love that. I tried it before when I was um, actually doing a little bit of a test designing this plane, and that's what I actually did. It was an epic takeoff like that. Pretty much straight off the ground, so um, yeah. And we're already pretty much reaching uh, 4,000 feet, so that's good. Oh, that's what I probably should have done, strutted these up a little bit. But that shouldn't matter, we're pretty much going straight up. Once we get about 10,000, we're going to level off and we're going to see how fast we can get it, because we're, we're going pretty fast. Like, if we were in orbit, we'd be going 300 something. Oh, we're in surface, so we're just going to go up. We're going to hit about 10,000. And we're almost going up 1,000 metres a second. We're about half of that at the moment. Um, oh, shit. Fuck. Um, I'm just going to let go on the throttle so I can actually push the plane forward. Um... Uh, 
we go. But we appear to have a couple of momentarily shitty issues, so I'm gonna have to cut the engines. In testing, I did manage to get this up to about 30,000 feet just on these engines, so it does give you a little bit of a um, a little bit of a insight into what this plane is actually capable of, which we're actually going to start speeding up now. Our lift to weight ratio isn't the best, which is why we're constantly trying to. Our plane's constantly trying to flip over. Which even the uh, stabilizers can't help with. Let's be closing on 500. Now that we're a little lower, I can actually put the throttle on full as we just dip below 10,000. I'm going to start boosting it up now. Come on, don't flip me. Is it going? Yeah, see, it wants to go, but it's enough to keep it at stable currently. Ooh. Let's toggle the displays. I have no idea what that means. Oh shit, the hell was that? On. I gotta actually hold down my uh, W key to keep it going straight before it flips over. Just gonna slow down the engines a little bit. So have a bit more control. Doesn't exactly want to give me the best controls ever. Put the engine's down to about one third thrust. And we're still actually gaining altitude, so. Again, I'm gonna hold down the actual W key to keep it in order. We're actually still gaining altitude, so... And then we've got no intake air. I thought that was a glitch at first, but... Doesn't appear to be, so... Alright, currently... 37,000 apolapses. Oh, shit! Come on! Give me a bit of control. We're still actually gaining altitude, even though we're past 30,000. Which is halfway to the atmosphere. Apparently we're running on pretty much zero intake, and they're actually it's actually spinning out now. So I'm just going to cut the engines completely, so we don't lose it. Gonna have to turn. The engines still want to go as uh, we actually started climbing. So we got to a total of forty thousand feet, and that's that's pretty that's pretty decent for running on these engines. Like if I can make a good space plan out of this, that'd be pretty nice. Chuck a rocket down here and I can probably be able to do it. Because we've only used, what, half our fuel? Wait, so we reached a total of 43,000, which isn't too bad. As I'm going to actually enable the... Let's go a bit faster, keep it, get our altitude down. This rate will land the ocean, but I'll probably just cut it before we actually finish. Gonna give ourselves a bit more speed. Look at that. That is beautiful. Actually, that would be a good screenshot. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I'm actually going to screenshot that. 
which I actually just did. Woohoo! Screenshot! As we pretty much tested this plane to the extreme. It actually appears to be coming apart here. <laughs> uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we have here. Um, the KSB edition of the MiG-35, uh, developed by the Russians and and the Indonesian, uh, not the Indonesians, uh, the Indians, supposedly, uh, which was meant to be in full-scale production in 2010, but I have no other information from that. If you're a Russian, you'd probably have an idea, otherwise I don't really have an idea. Because all I know is Wikipedia, and of course the Russians, uh, edif military isn't going to post specifications of a jet on Wikipedia, are they now? So, um, yeah, we're just going to revert the flight there. Uh, revert to launch, please. Going to press the brakes. Get out, Mr. Joe Rim. There's something out there. I can't remember what it is. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Mr. Joe Ram. Going to get you to stand there. Gonna do this, gonna do that, gonna press F10. And uh, that is it, guys, for this episode. The MiG 35 has been completed, flies like a wonderful beast. May not be an exact copy, but as you know, KSB editions are always the shitty variant of the actual thing because of how good their engineering is. Kerbal Engineering for the win. They should be um, Australia's next bloody. Commanders, I mean, just look at his face. He knows what he's doing. Look at it. Look at it. So anyway, guys, that is Army signing off for the next episode of whatever comes next. Um, I'm actually looking at H1N1. Was it H1? I don't know what it is, but it's the new zombie game coming out by... Um, uh, that is uh, being developed and... No, not being published by uh, Sony Online Entertainment. So, and it looks very interesting, um, currently Daisy's updating is fucking slow, and I'm hoping that this H1, is it H1Z1? It's H1Z1, that's what it is. H1Z1 will be, uh, a bit more of a fuller game, because it's going to have the backing of a major publisher, and hopefully that should make it a decent game, as they, Sony does have some, uh, decent games out, um, such as, uh, EVE and EVE Online, and I can't remember what the other one is, but hopefully they can actually, uh, make this a success. I hope it's a success. I like their games. I like EVE. I played it for a bit. Um, but, yeah. Paying money per month isn't exactly my thing. So, yeah. That is all. That is me signing off. Your lord and saviour, Mr. Bezza. And this Kerbal has no idea what the hell he's doing. He's just... He's crazy. Look at him. Look at his eye. Oh, we're inside his head. Uh, well, that is me signing off for the fifth time now. And um, I'll see you guys next time on the next episode. And that is me... Goodbye.